Yo, what's up, Genetics here. Today we're gonna have a different type of video. We're gonna be looking at a settings guide as well as um, seeing what my personal settings are and which type of settings you might wanna emulate. So let's take away the camera for this one. You click here for settings. This page appears. The first thing you might wanna know is how to import export settings. Uh, you go over here and import export. If you export, it gives you like a big string. My settings will be linked in the description with a paste bin towards uh, this big string of uh, characters and then hit back and if you want to import you just paste them here and click import and you're going to copy the person setting same thing for keybinds now i won't be going over keybinds uh, first of all they're pretty self-explanatory second of all i have default keybinds for everything so this toggle section is quite simple basically if you have something toggle let's say you want to toggle sprint what that does is that when you want to sprint instead of having to hold shift you just click it once and then kick it again to stop which you toggle it on and off rather than hold so let's say if you want to toggle sprint then just click that toggle sprint button uh, one of the most important settings following that in the camera section is field of view personally i use 100 i've used anything from 90 to 115 my recommendation for beginners is to go maximum or well for anyone is to go somewhere between 90 and 105 and for those of you who might not know field of view what it does is it it widens what the what what you can see but the wider the field of view is and the more you can see however the targets are smaller and appear to be going faster which is why 115 some people play 115 but i think it's too much i recommend 90 to 105 sensitivity is a weird one because it's a hundred right but it also depends on your camera sensitivity and it also depends on your mouse dpi so my mouse dpi is 1600 which is four times as much as the default 400 for most of my mice anyways which means that you know i'm at 0 0.085 100 but if your mice is at if your mouse is at uh, 400 dpi then this camera sensitivity will have to be four times greater uh which is 32 plus 2 34 0 0.34 be the equivalent of my sensitivity and then aim and scope sensitivity are the sensitivity at which when you're aiming down sight and when you're scoped in a sniper i go with 117 i used to play 100 100 this is like personal preference and invert camera i don't think anyone plays with this my crosshair is just a white plus so if you want to copy that size here just makes it larger or bigger um, a lot of people wonder how to make it so that it doesn't move. You unclick dynamic size. I don't recommend using dynamic size. Thickness is uh, like this. If you want a dot, you can play around with that. Center size is if you want a gap in the center or not. I don't. Rotation is not something I play around with, but you can rotate it. And the color, dot size, if you have dot enabled over here. Uh, I don't have any space, but let's say I put in a center size and then I go and click Dot. Uh, you see I have a dot and then I can play around with the color of the dot. I can like make it a different color. I can also um, make it bigger or smaller. Just reset that. Well, I use a white plus. Transparency, you can play around with that, but it doesn't really matter. And then reset, you can put the default back. Draw sensitivity, I don't know what that is. Toggle leaderboard, uh, that means when you open up the leaderboard, you just toggle it. And finally, maybe the most, apart from five of the most important settings over here, you can hide name tags, hide cough indicator. If you are familiar with the maps, I'd hide them. But if you don't know where the hell is, actually this is very helpful at first to learn maps. Because since the center of the hill is always at the same spot, no matter where you spawn on the map, you get to see where the hill is relative to your position. So it helps a lot with learning maps. So I would not hide it if you're new, but hide it if you want to. Disable grenade timer, I've never used that. Omega color, beta color is the colors of the respective teams. By default, they are orange and blue. I'm Right now I'm going red and purple, but might as well change it. Let's go yellow and um, and this kind of purple gray. Disable map textures, disable arms, disable ragdoll. Disable, I, I'd really recommend disable ragdoll because what happens is it's hard to tell between a crouched, uh, pronged opponent and a dead opponent so i would definitely disable ragdolls which are the dead bodies disable arms is personal preference map textures can help with fps or just making the game look more simple and then simplified outfits is a really a key setting it's what allows me to see all the enemies the same color 
So by the time I'm on team beta, all the enemies will be omega colored, will be yellow, simple outfits, if this is enabled. And then for this effects section, it's all per personal preference. Uh, you want blood, bullet impact, super spin effect. Which I like the lines around the screen when you're running. Invert flashbang effect, I don't even know what it does. I will say, however, the flashbangs are kind of broken in this game. Like, it's a radius, and even if you're hidden behind a wall, you still get flashed. Anyway, that's my video. Hope it was helpful. If it was, leave a like, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.